find out how to water cool your graphics card and not break the bank. I am using the GTX 780 Ti, the NCXT Kraken G10 adapter and all-in-one water loop using the Corsair H55. Save money and do not break the bank. Let's get it done. Yeah, be a boss, don't break the bank. Be a boss, like a boss. Okay, step number one. Get your graphics card ready on a free static area. Carefully start removing the screws. Place them in a secure place. In my case, I am using an organizer. You need a special set of screwdrivers. I will link you some in the description. I'm going to speed up the video now. Take a very good look around the graphics card and make sure you don't miss any screws. Carefully wiggle the car in a zigzag mode, away from the stack cooler. Okay, carefully remove the cable that is attached to the car. Do the same on the other side. This cable goes to the fan, that controls the fan speed of this graphics card. Now let's remove the thermal heat sink tape from the card and put it back in the cooler. Alright, in my own choice I like to use a coffee filter to clean the RAM, the chipset. I'm gonna speed up the video so you can see how I do it you have to use pure alcohol or like I do use a coffee filter and look at this ta -da! it's nice and clean our PCB is ready for the Kraken G10 and for the H55 cooler hey water cool your graphics card without breaking the bank like a bows okay guys what am I doing right now well, this black part right here, it's too thick and I had a problem with it the last time I installed the Kraken G10 to my GTX 780 Ti, so what am I doing right now? I am removing it. I tried cutting it and I almost sliced my finger, I'm glad I didn't. So I decided to remove it and I'm gonna get it out of um, a mouse pad. See how thick it is? That is so thick. I can't use that. So instead, I got a mouse pad that I had laying around somewhere. I cut a little piece and ta -da! It's ready to go. Let's get ready to install the back plate to the PCB of this graphics card. And it's time to install the NCXT Kraken G10. All right, with that out of the way, it's time to put in the NCXT back plate on the back PCB of this graphics card. Carefully introduce them and do not force them. They should go in easily, like a hot knife on butter. Commentary time! Yay! Okay guys, well, if you follow the steps, you are good to go. Pretty much after here, it's simple and easy. Kind of like having breakfast. Easy, easy, like a bows. Alright guys, well, what am I doing right now? I am aligning the H55, the, the pump, I'm aligning it and you know making sure how I want it inside my case so I'm making sure everything's gonna fit nice and easy and and, and I'm just making sure you know the the teeth uh, of the adapter, the Kraken G10 lines up with the little hooks of the pump and that right there is going to from the uh, you know from the back plate um, it's going to lock it up and it's gonna put in pressure into the RAM of like the chipset RAM where it gets really hot and that is going to give us lower temperatures alright if you're asking yourself creeper why why do I have to water cool my graphics card well the answer is why not hot versus cold Mmm, cold. There is your answer. I know that was a bad answer, but here is what can happen. Alright, if you don't water cool your graphics card and if you play these high-end games, 
if your house is not nice and cold, nice and cool, what is going to happen is your graphics card is going to overheat. Now, go on Google right now and search what happens if my graphics card overheats. Well, I'm going to tell you what is going to happen. You are going to lose frames per second. You have chances of your computer rebooting. Uh, you have chances of losing signal to your screen due to the failure of the of the graphics card. Uh, you have a lot of bad things can happen. You can destroy your graphics card. This is not a game. Okay, so right here I am trying to help you. So if you're gonna start judging, if you're gonna start hating, then do yourself a favor, go somewhere else and hate, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to teach you something, I'm trying to help you. Now right here I use two different types of thermal paste. You can use whichever ones. These two here are my favorite because they work the best. So that is the reason why you want to water cool your graphics card. So right here guys, what am I doing? I'm using the Arctic Silver. It's very good. I love it. I use this one for my graphics card. And the other one I use it more for the CPU, but they both do a good, good job. They're both like seven, eight dollars, like seven dollars to eight dollars. Right here guys, I forgot to put in the VRAM heat sinks that I bought for my graphics card after almost having everything done i said oh my god so i had to take everything apart and put in the heat sink um b ram heat sinks i really recommend you to do that i mean it's going to keep everything nice and cool i really 100 percent recommend it so now guys let's get back into the topic why why you want to water cool your graphics card well it is recommended it is better now if you have a you know if you have like two hundred dollars and if you want to go high end if you want to water cool your graphics card and your cpu at the same time and you can have up to three radiators if you have a full tower case i mean you can you can do whatever you want to do but in my case the budget way i'm trying to help you do it you know following a budget do it this way i recommend it it works so now guys what am i doing right now i'm putting the little washers in here i put in the graphics card uh, on the surface like the flat surface and then i put in the adapter and now i'm going to bolt in i'm going to secure it together and i mean you can see it right here i'm trying to show it to the camera but i don't have auto zoom set up on this camera yet um so pretty much what you want to do is just bolt it in one by one let me speed up this video well guys the steps are easy to follow if you need to re-watch this you can re-watch it or you can download my video and you know rewatch it as you do it however you want to do it guys but after that we are all done this is it now i'm going to share some gameplay and i'm going to share a video on how it looks running on my computer enjoy look at this sexy view right here we got far cry 4 the gtx 780 ti doesn't ask anything to the 980 to the 970 overclocks i mean I, i'm doing a little bit of an overclock on the gtx 780 ti and look at these graphics i mean these graphics are insane and look at them temperatures gpu is for the graphics car right now i'm running at 46 celsius full load <laughs> but i mean you can see right here my computer i have a, a 200 millimeter fan right behind it and i also put the heat sinks the heat sink on the BRM hey that's a bows right there that's a bows move and everything is for under $100 I mean I am afraid to do like a like all-in-one I, I, I mean my custom water loop because honestly I am still a noob but I am learning and we are going to learn together so this right here it's the budget the budget way and you know what it works what is the I mean 
it, and it looks badass. You can see the computer, it looks badass. I mean, you can call me show off or anything, but look at this here. You can customize, you can get your own PCIe cables. I mean, you can, you can make it look good. Now, look at the CPU. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight CPU. Look at those temperatures. I am cooling the CPU with the Corsair H100i, and I'm using pull and push configuration, and I'm using the Corsair SP120s because they are quiet. Even on full load, the 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 Corsair um, SP120 fans they're super quiet and they move air, and that is the most important thing. I am about to review this computer because I need to list it for sale, obviously. But guys, these fans can move some air. And that is the reason why this build I named it. I named this build the turbine. Because it has so many fans. Fans everywhere. I mean, this computer, it's a air machine. It moves air. <laughs> and everything is nice and cool. You can see the temperatures. I mean, I'm not bullshitting you. This computer is under heavy load. Look at the BRM heat sinks that I put in there. <laughs> you can do it really cheap, really easy, and do not break the bank. And that is what I'm excited about. And that is the reason why I made this video. And yes, guys, this right here, it's a uh, Shadow of Mordor. This game requires a lot. I mean, you can see right here my frames per second. They bury it because I have my frames open. I don't have my, uh, like, I don't have a frame. Um, frames per second limiter which I can use it but I don't want to look at my CPU temperatures look at the graphics card 45 Celsius I mean right here I was playing this game for like 45 minutes just playing and playing and playing and playing I wanted to stress the temperatures I wanted to get this shit hot I'm sorry for my language and I'm, I'm astoundingly impressed like oh my god this is so crazy you really enjoy gaming knowing that your temperatures are cool now the H100i you can buy it right now the prices are lowering because the new coolers are coming out but the H100i is still a bows it's still a bows you know I just received one on the mail right now I'll put a picture in here because I'm gonna put it on my other build I mean keep your components cool it's very important do not break the bank this was your host Creeper 24 with hat tech videos. I want to shout, take uploaded. I love you, bro. Thank you for being always there for me every time I had a question. So, if you are a noob and if you have a lot of questions about the micro starter and such and such, shoot me a message on Facebook. Follow me on Facebook. I reply to you. I reply to you. But right here on YouTube, do not message me here because I will never find your message. I'll see you guys later. I love you. Stay cool. Well, it's very cold outside. It's like we are the 20 below zero. But don't take that as, hey, uh, Creeper, this is a setup video because it's cool and, and like really cold. Well, hey, I have a really hot room. I am a cold person. In my room, I have to be sweating and freezing outside. <laughs> uh, I love you guys. Stay cool. Do it yourself and do not break the bank. I'm sorry, my desk chair is noisy. I'll see you guys later. I love you. Creeper24. Mwah. Happy New Year. Yeah, be a boss, don't break the bank. Be a boss, like a boss.